and we're back with another video. So in this one, I'm going to be talking about how to really put together and structure your niche site for long-term success. So I've got a few notes on my phone today, kind of unprofessional in that sense, but this isn't a professional channel. So anyway, what we're going to be talking about is exactly how I think that you should be putting your sort of site together in that sense to really increase the chances of success. Now, before I even get into how to structure your site and whatever else, I'm going to just say that the most important thing I've noticed of building any type of niche website is simply finding good keywords, first of all, and then just writing content. Like, that is the truth. Just writing content that's better than anything else out there. And if you can do that, then, you know, you're always going to win. Like, no matter if you've got backlinks or you haven't or whatever else, it's eventually going to win. And that's just the way I kind of see it. I'm no expert, like I said, but from what I can see so far, like, you know, it's really and truly the best content that wins all the time. So when we talk about structuring your kind of website, I'm talking about, you know, how many money posts you should have percentage wise and, you know, how many informational posts you should have percentage wise and how much shareable content. So I go by the rule of three. So 30% or 33% for each. So for 33% of your site, I would say make it money posts. So that's strictly like best this, best buy, best this or this, this, that review. For example, so if you're trying to, you know, win on the results for an affiliate product, you might do best blah, 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 or no, X, Y, Z review. So obviously you're going to take them through a review on a product and then eventually link to the product throughout the article. So that's great. Like, you know, I would definitely do like 33% of your articles. Now, it doesn't have to be some exact figure. Nothing's black and white inside of this kind of field. But all it is, is you want to take like a third of your site. So if you've got like, you know, I don't know, 100 pages, you want to take that 30 pages and make them on average money posts. Now, the next 30%, I would say make informational posts. So these are posts that are answering people's questions. So when people are asking questions within that niche or industry, then you wanna be answering those questions. And when relevant, you wanna be linking over to the money posts. So for example, you know, if you are, and even you could link to the other, you know, categories as well. But if you're, for example, you know, trying to answer some type of question, just say it was fitness and you've got a fitness product, like you're promoting insanity or something, on your blog, then you might have a question of where someone says, how do I get shredded abs or how to get, I don't know, what's fast, what is the fastest way to get shredded abs? So then you might give them a whole post on, you know, how to get shredded abs fast. And then you might say, but here's a course that actually fast tracks you to that process. So you want to always be solving a problem in anything that you do online. Like this is literally the number one key to succeeding online. You literally just need to solve a problem. That is the number one thing to, to, to winning at any business, like from what I've gathered as well. Yeah, you just need to solve problems. And when you solve problems, it doesn't matter who you are in that sense, because what happens is, we see all of these gurus doing all the adverts and saying, hey, stop for 10 seconds and whatever else. And it all looks like, you know, I could never do that. You know, these guys are like, you know, they've learned all these skills and whatever else. But the number one thing that those people are doing is they're just the ones who succeed anyway. They look into the marketplace and then they think, okay, what is it that these people want? And what is their desired result that they're trying to achieve? How can my product or service link them to that result fast? How can it get them? Like the best analogy I've heard is, you know, if you've got a toothache, for example, and when you're in pain, so that's like the marketplace, you try and target people who are in pain. So people who want to, you know, get fit, people who want to, you know, get training, people who want to do all different things because they've got these desired goals. So you need to figure out what their desired goals are and actually help them to achieve it. And that's how you're solving, you're providing the solution. And when you've got that solution, it literally translates into their language and they will always, always be interested. Like, so yeah, if you had a toothache and, you know, all of your dentists were shut and you just looked on Google and whatever and you found this, you know, uh, dentist mobile or whatever you'd almost pay like whatever it takes if that person could solve that toothache in that current time you know so even if it was usually like 20 pounds to go and they said oh you know what this is going to cost 200 pounds tonight i guarantee you, you'd probably really really heavily consider paying it and for most of you you'd just pay it you'd be like yeah i don't care i'm going to take the loss 
I'll oh, bloody, you know, I need to get this too sorted. So at that point in time, you kind of don't care on, you know, all the other stuff that the person can do because there's only one thing you want them to do and that's simply just to fix the tooth. You know, so that's the same way that you can find pains in the market. Now, you might say, ah, oh, but people don't have pains like that. It's just because you haven't found those pains, you know? So those pains all exist because this is how business works in the world. So like, you know, you just need to do a better job at your research and find the real things that are provoking people, the things that are making them lose sleep at night. You know, for example, I'm in the dog industry. I solve problems with people who have bad behaved dogs that, you know, they can't go to work without the dog barking nonstop, neighbors are complaining to them, all of these different things. So if you're finding a problem that severe, like they can't even, you know, sort of function as a normal day to day because that problem's so apparent in their life. Or for example, a dog who's chewing up stuff at home, like stopping that from happening. So everything that's left around the dog's chewing. Or dog trying to attack another dog every time they take a walk. These are big, massive, huge problems. These are things that bother people so much that they lose sleep at night, you know? And when you can tackle those kind of problems and form a solution to them, you're gonna make money, you know? So I would definitely uh, focus 30% of your site on information, so that's like, really answering questions of pain points that people have. And these are just problems that people have. You wanna find problems in the, in the niche, go and check forums, go and check YouTube comments, go and check other competitor sites and see the comment section and what questions people are asking. There's many different ways of seeing it. You just need to go and even check, you know, Facebook groups, um, any, any type of place of where you can find feedback. That's all you need is a bit of feedback and you'll be able to kind of compose that that solution, okay? And um, once you actually, you know, put this solution together, you've got to put it into the market and test it because you're gonna get feedback on that too. So you're gonna say, oh, that kind of, you know, worked a little bit, but could have been better. This is what I can tweak here. But the most important thing is just to get going. And now the next 30% of your structure of your website, I believe should be shareable content. So these are like top 10 list of X, Y, Z. 15 things I never knew before, or five things you never knew about dog training, or whatever, all these different things, like I'm gonna relate it to a lot about dog training or dog websites because that's what I'm doing. But for example, yeah, so it needs to be shareable content. And what that does is, those are the pieces of content that are really good, that can help you to, you know, um, really get lots of engagement across your site. So that's where you'll get like a lot of social traffic. People might pin it, people might, you know, Facebook share it and whatever else. So make sure you've got those shareable uh, buttons on your site as well. I use Social Warfare, which is a plugin, Social War Warfare, sorry. And um, that's how you can actually, you know, um, place a shareable button or a list of shareable buttons on your site. But there's many different themes and services and plugins on WordPress that you can install onto your site. But yeah, so I would definitely focus on those as well. Now. Quick tip, point out, for if you wanna find really good shareable content within your industry, a great way of doing that is going to BuzzSumo. If you go to BuzzSumo, then you put in your like industry or the topic that you're trying to cover, then you sort by shares. Like, so the, if you sort by shares, you'll see all of like the top, 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 top shared posts in the world, like across the internet. Um, and Basumo will pull it out for you. I think you can do like, you know, free search like three times or something. So just use it up, you get three a day or something like that. So you can find like, you can sort it by shares like Facebook shares or whatever, Pinterest shares. And yeah, you can find like really shareable content. So you can just go in and really get a real idea of exactly what type of topics and what type of content that people are finding great to share, okay? All of your content for your structure needs to be helpful. That's like tip number one. Everything that you do today is gonna to make a difference in 12 months. So almost think of it, if you mess up today, that messes you up in 12 months. So every single day, just add 12 months onto it because that's when it's gonna have an effect. It doesn't have an effect today, like because the traffic hasn't come and things haven't happened, time hasn't matured yet. You have to let the time mature with this SEO um, you know, strategy. And then you get the effect in like about 12 months, like 12, you know, eight to 12 months, you're really gonna get that result. So focus on quality first over quantity. You can bash out a lot of content, but make sure your content's good. Okay, that's point number one. Learn copywriting. This is another skill, like honestly, 
it is like the best way to really structure like pages of making people, you know, um, persuading people to take actions and do things and really make yourself, your content captivating. I recommend a book called How to Write Copy That Sells. I've got a link below, it's an affiliate link. You can click through on, and get that book on Amazon. It is like the best book, honestly, on copywriting. It's really easy to, it's easy to digest. Like, so it's, it gives you like headlines. It gives you like all different stuff, like how to break down your headlines, how to captivate the reader, how to structure your posts, like all different things. It's not specifically targeted for websites, but it's all relevant. It's like just about content creation in general, like in text format. And it's just the power of the written word. Really important. Also make it relatable all the time. I think it's really important, unless you're like a super huge authority, which if you were, you wouldn't be watching this video, unless it were to go viral, of course. But yeah, no, for example, um, yeah, if you're like just a normal average Joe, then you don't wanna be making yourself to seem some type of professional, like, you know, we do this and we do that and whatever, like, unless you're a couple on a page. You want it to be just a really relatable storytelling, um, scenario every single time so you want to tell a story and that's what we kind of grow up on stories we love stories we resonate with stories so the more you can tell stories the more people are going to really engage with your content okay don't copy and don't spam like do not do that don't copy it's all these uh te techniques that are black hat or gray hat or whatever you know hat don't do no hats like just do your normal plain good content creation and it has to be unique like to you. So it's your content that you create. There's gonna be many people on the other side of the world that are gonna love what you're doing. Make sure you put in effort to making it the best quality. If you get stuck with writing posts and you know you kind of have trouble with that type of thing, you can check out my uh, video called How to Write a Blog Post Every Day. That's a video the most popular on my channel. You can go and watch that and it will give you step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to write a blog post every single day, all right? Now, create good, fresh content and think about cause and effect. So, like I said, create the content and make it fresh, and every single time you write a piece of content, just understand it is not today that it's gonna have an effect. You are not going to get the result of that today. Whatever you do today is gonna to make a difference in around 12 months. So unless you're taking that perspective on it, then you're not doing it right. You really need to take that outlook. And by doing that, it allows you to make some real long-term decisions that can blow out competition. Because when people are thinking short-term, they're always gonna get wiped out, yeah? So I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you did like it, make sure you leave a like. If you've got any feedback that you wanna leave, make sure you leave that in the comment section below. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I hope you take care, peace.